Hey, what's up, Fire Children? Chad Allen here, and welcome to this Fire Child video blender quick tip. Uh, today, we're going to take a look at the Wacom tablet and how you can incorporate it with your blender workflow. Now, um, I've had a Wacom tablet for quite a few years now, and it's absolutely invaluable if you're using uh, Photoshop or GIMP or After Effects, uh, things like that, and it's just a must have tool. But uh, recently, I've started using it with Blender. And uh, I've noticed a lot on the forums that people either love it or they hate it. You know, you either use a tablet uh, with 3D or you don't. And um, the, the community seems pretty divided. I'm kind of in the middle. Sometimes I enjoy it, sometimes I don't. But what I'm going to walk you through is how to set up Blender to work with your Wacom tablet. Or uh, say, for example, you are using a two-button mouse or a one-button mouse and don't have the center scroll wheel or the center mouse button. You need to be able to set up Blender to... Um, move around your scene and zoom in and pan and all those good things uh, without the benefit of a scroll wheel and, and a center mouse button, which I will show you how to do right now. Setting up to emulate a three button mouse is actually one of the most just pretty much incredibly simple. So let's go ahead and start off. What we need to do is we need to change one of our user preferences. So we'll go file user preferences and then in the input tab, which is right here, you want to make sure that emulate three button mouse is selected, which I already have. So then you just set as default. Now, if you're using a two button mouse or, or a one button mouse, what I'm about to say will apply. Uh, I am going to talk about touching the uh, pen to the tablet and, and moving things around. And that's not going to apply to you, obviously. But uh, the shortcut keys we're about to go through will will apply. Just know that when I say press the the pen to the tablet. I, for you guys using a two button or one button mouse, I'm actually talking about left clicking or clicking, obviously. So let's actually go ahead and center this up. Okay, so one of the most important things you're going to want to do is you're going to want to be able to zoom in and out. You're going to want to be able to rotate. You're going to want to be able to pan around. We're talking about camera controls here, basically, or viewport controls, actually. Now, the first viewport control I'll show you is the easiest is to uh, rotate around your scene and on a mouse, I'm just switching up between my pen and my mouse, See, I'm, I'm holding the mouse right now. With the mouse, you would click the center mouse button and then just move the mouse around. However, if you're using the pen or you don't have a center mouse, you'll have to hold down Alt, click the pen to the tablet or left click on your mouse and that will give you the same functionality. Now you can rotate around. So Alt, click and rotate. Now let's say you want to zoom in and out with uh, the regular mouse. Let me just switch up here. Rolling the, the scroll wheel will zoom you in and out. Again, you don't have that on a tablet. Uh, and you may not have it on the mouse you're using or if you're using the touchpad on a laptop. Uh, to be able to zoom in and out then, you can hit Control, Alt, click, and move in and out. When I say click, same as before, if you're using a two button mouse, left click. If you know, you're using the pen, uh, click the pen to the tablet and then move it. So control alt click and then move your pen around and there you go. So remember alt click and move and you've got rotation. Control alt click and move and you've got zoom. But there's one more we want to do. We want to be able to, let me just zoom in here. We want to be able to pan around our scene because you know our cube is down here but we can't see it. And instead of zooming and, and rotating and all that, what we can do is hit alt shift click and move and now we've got our panning controls so let's control alt click zoom out some alt shift move it around now you've got your pan controls now you've got pretty much your your most important i would say uh manipulation controls for your viewport window that'll help you work in 3d a lot better now of course with the pin it works the same way because there is a uh, a couple buttons on your on your wacom tablet pin and you can use your right button you know, to select vertices. And uh, I actually had a recent comment of a guy who said that I say, use the phrase, you know, too much. And uh, you're absolutely right, you know. I, uh, you know, I, I sure, I sure do. You know, that's odd. Anyway, uh, that's it for my quick tip for today, guys. Uh, like I said, quick, short, to the point. Just wanted to show you guys how to work with a two button mouse, a one button mouse, or your Wacom tablet. Now, Wacom tablets may not be the best idea for everything in Blender. However, when it comes to texture mapping or uh, sculpting, it's just 
absolutely a must have outside of that you can get away with just using your mouse you don't have you don't need the precision control however if you've got it hey you know you paid good money for it go ahead and use it and you know have some fun there i go saying you know again uh i can't remember the name of the person who posted that comment but dude thanks for letting me have a little fun at your expense and i am trying to cut back on the you knows just so you're aware i am working on that part of my speech anyway my name is chad allen thank you guys for joining me this was just a quick tip i hope it was helpful and i'll see you guys again very soon for our next training tutorial have a good one guys